fairy tale to describe my life, I would have to choose the ugly duckling. Unfortunately, unlike the duckling who ended up as a beautiful swan, all that happened to me was I changed from a duckling into a big fat duck. <laughs> nice. I lost weight. Looks like the diet's paying off. not your prince. He's your boss's client. If the Sierra Diamond doesn't accept this proposal that I drew up, that's my entire month's bonus down the drain. Mr. Xiao, I'm begging you. I can't afford to lose my bonus, so please accept this. Mr. Xiao, the meeting has been scheduled for tomorrow. Tell their team that I want to have it now. Ma'am, I'm very sorry. I'm almost there now. Mi Meili! Do you want to get yourself fired? Everyone here was waiting for you to show up. I'm really sorry, but I have the proposal here. I'm sorry again. So what's the theme gonna be? 
Well, the main concept is about how diamonds are just like women. They both have to be polished from rough stone before they can really start to shine. It's called struggle and transformation. Here, I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Oh, so ma'am, do you remember your promise Yeah, that yeah. You... It's going to have your name on it. Wait, can I attend a meeting as well? <sighs> what? No way. It's just that I worked on this myself, and I've never been part of any of your meetings. I've spent a lot of sleepless nights to finish the proposal. I promise, I won't say anything. I'm just going to listen. Get back to work. Oh. oh! I'm sorry. We received a call. Mr. Xiao wants to have the meeting now. He's on his way. Then go and get everyone ready. Why are you just standing there? Go make coffee! Yes. Stop! It's that way! Right. Mr. Shell, come. Cubicle. Go on. <laughs> well then, Mr. Shao, shall we start now? The theme we chose is struggle and transformation. The perfect analogy between women and diamonds. Women go through struggles in order to refine themselves just like gemstones, which shine only after they've been cut and polished. Women need to continuously improve themselves to shine brighter in today's society, and Tessiro will inspire them to do so. Women naturally enjoy beautiful things like stars and flowers, like rings and so on. So what we're planning to do is- Okay, that's enough. I don't like the concept. This proposal has failed to meet Tessiro's standard of excellence. It has? W why? Listen. Comparing diamonds to women is an old, worn-out, and boring idea by now. It's been done thousands of times, and your presentation was completely lacking in substance. Honestly, it's not professional. I am certain that there are dozens of other companies with the exact same idea, so why would I agree to this? I want you to give me an answer. Mr. Shao, we... This whole thing is worthless to me. I don't like it. Wait! Mr. Shao! But... Mr. Shao! Mr. Shao! Wait! Please! Sir, I just want to ask if you ever visit your own company's diamond cutting workshop. Most companies in the jewelry industry, unlike yours, don't operate their own workshops for cutting rough stones. But I know that your company has the largest cutting workshop in the country, so I'm 100% sure that you know what it looks like when a raw stone is turned into a shining diamond. That's exactly how you'll be able to reach out to women. What are you talking about? Uh, Mr. Shao, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Please continue. When we relate your diamonds to women, it means what we're really doing is representing women's personal growth. We want them to feel that we genuinely understand them. People tend to associate diamonds with beautiful women because together they're even more beautiful. But there are many other women who people would say aren't as beautiful and very far from perfect. But they work hard to improve themselves so they can also look beautiful. Don't you think that they'd want to own diamonds made especially for them? I have a question. Did you help make the proposal? Oh. Not at all. She She's here for the presentation. Who told you that you could deliver that part of the proposal? Go and get ready. Me? Get ready for what? Huh? Uh.
Tessiro's next theme will be transformation. We will use the butterfly to reflect the difficulty of making a true jewel. This presentation will effectively serve to visualize the idea behind this plan. Now, let's begin. <laughs> uh The larva in the cocoon is very much like this fat, crude, and insecure woman. If she hopes to improve herself, she must undergo a drastic transformation. So in the final commercial, when the cocoon breaks open, it will reveal a dazzling diamond inside. And so, we show what the diamond represents. A woman's pursuit of self, as well as everlasting brilliance. Hey, hmm? don't you think Tina went too far this time? Me, Mei Li might not be beautiful, but she deserves better than that. Yeah, and she's always nice to everyone. That was a good proposal. I like what you presented. You may finalize the contract with Mr. Yu. <sighs> That's great. Thank you. <laughs> you may come out now. I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. For you or for that woman? The proposal was fine except for that show that you put up. You were awful. I'd rather have her than someone who gets her happiness by picking on others' imperfections. Do you? Get the car. You did very well today. We'll have a dinner meeting tomorrow. You should come. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, what about your jacket? Xiao Liang actually invited me to dinner. <laughs> oh. My turn. Dr. Lei, I heard that you're actually an OBGYN, is that right? What about you? What do you think? You, you are! Hey, fatty, I'm busy. What, you ripped your pants? A dinner? Why don't you just go? You don't have to tell me any of this. Sounds like your girlfriend's fat. Your girlfriend's fat. Hey, what do you mean you're in love? No, that's not good. Wait, I'm coming over. So, Lei Ming, don't you think my story with Xiao Liang is just like a fairy tale? Yeah, totally. The boss of a multinational jewelry brand. And, uh... <coughs> and you. Seriously, first you block his way, then you rip your pants open right in front of him. I didn't know my pants were gonna rip, okay? Listen to me. You're not falling in love, right? Or are you? Listen, I know you, fatty. We're childhood friends. We know each other well. We may never have been lovers, but I know you. Inside and out. I know how your brain works. You know that I do. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'm not in love. Stop it. I'm just a little surprised. 
That was the first time a man ever made me feel like I was a lady. The first time I have ever been praised for my work and not criticized for my looks. He's like the brightest star in the night sky. Sure, I know he's far away, but whenever I look up and see him shining in the sky, wow, my stomach fills up with butterflies. Oh, I see what's <laughs> happening here. You're lovesick and you need treatment. You think it's that serious? I'm sure that it is. You're in love, Mimeli. <laughs> Please. No way. <laughs> Teddy, listen to me, okay? You're kind, honest, hardworking. Not to mention, smart and strong. You're a good catch, actually. But going for the CEO of a multinational company seems a bit too ambitious, wouldn't you agree? Wait, stop there. To be honest with you, I don't think it's actually going to go anywhere. I'm not that crazy, you know. And while it's nice to have dreams of handsome CEOs, I actually love... <laughs> Delicious pig trotters! <sighs> Mr. Shao, I know you're young and still a rookie. You still don't fully grasp this company's rules. Tell me, what's going on? No matter what your reasons are for suddenly replacing Shinri with L advertising, and while it is within your power to do so, you should have informed all of us in advance. Mr. Lee, did you inform us about the cuts you were getting from the previous company? Uh, 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 what are you talking about? How dare you say such a lie? That's ridiculous! You just got your position! And this is how you treat us? You need to show us some respect! All right then. I'll be the dictator you think I am. The heads of sales and customer service are relieved. Their retirement benefits will be doubled and their salaries will remain unchanged out of respect for their tenure. How rude, look at him. This is unacceptable. He needs to be taught a lesson. Dina. Mi Mei Li, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here for Mr. Shao's celebration dinner. The dinner? Mm. But it's already over. It's over? But didn't you tell me that dinner starts at 8? Nonsense! I said it ends at 8. <sighs> Meili, are you okay? Right after you left yesterday, Tina got scolded. Now she's lashing out on you. Don't mind her, okay? You're great! See you later. Bye-bye. Did Mr. Shao really speak up for me? <laughs> you guys enjoy yourselves, huh? Mr. Shao, I cleaned up your jacket for you. Here you go. Excuse me, is everything okay here? This is a five-star hotel, right? Yes. Well, we need to book a room. What? Did you say you need a room? Mm. Okay, then. Um. Let me take care of it. <laughs> Wait, too tight. Oh, yeah, she.
Hey, get up! What's going on here? What happened? Mr. Shao, you're up. What did you do to me? Huh? Where are my clothes? Have you forgotten already? Last night, you were drunk, and I had to carry you to the bed. And after that, we fell asleep, at least until... You threw up everywhere. You threw up all over your clothes, so I had to help you take them off. You took off my clothes? What else did you do? Hmm. I didn't kiss you on purpose. What? You kissed me? On the mouth? Mm. Get out! Right now! I just remembered. Here's the jacket you lent me. Thank you for letting me use it. Why would you do that? Perverts like you make me sick. Get out. I never want to see you again. Why would he do that? Is being late your thing now? Yes, Tina. What was that? Oh. No, I mean no, man. You're getting bold. Whatever. I called you here to tell you that you're out of the Tessiro project. You can go now. But my proposal was accepted. Why are you kicking me out? Oh, orders from above. Uh, it's uh, not your proposal. In fact, it belongs to the whole department. That means I'll be the one to sign it. But, but, it's my proposal and you're stealing it. I made it, so if you don't put my name on it, you're committing plagiarism. What are you saying? You don't like it? Well, you can leave. You can't just plagiarize my work. Get out now. I won't. I demand an explanation. Really? Then here's your explanation. Me, Mei Li, I hereby announce your termination from L Advertising. Collect your things and leave. We don't need you. Teddy? You there? Why couldn't I reach you last night? I'm naming. I ended up sharing a bed with Chow Young last night. So what's the problem? He's supposed to be the man of your dream, so why are you crying? He's the one who should be crying. He didn't do anything to me. We just slept next to each other. I see, I see. I was just kidding. Don't cry, don't cry. But when he woke up this morning, he said he hates me and called me a pervert. He told me that he never wants to see me again. He must hate me now, I know he does. <sighs> never mind that, okay? You hooked up with him. Oh no, you got Xiaoliang on the hook. Wait, you know what, forget about the hook. Just let Xiaoliang go because uh, there are thousands of others like him. Uh, men who are more deserving of you. So cheer up, okay? Laming. I can't help it. I'm really, really sad. I'm probably going to end up eating way too much food. <laughs> Did you get your pay already? I knew the thought of food would cheer you up. <laughs> Always. No matter how cruel the world is, I still have you and food. Remember that. I'm going to work. I'll buy some pig trotters later. Where are you at now? I'm at the intersection of Shiha Road and Chang'an Road right now. Uh-huh. I'll go to your place later. Mm, I'll wait for you. <sighs> Mr. Xiao, many of our international competitors have rolled out new campaigns. Our sales are reported to have dropped by 10% in the past six months alone. I need to reassure the board before the semi-annual meeting. I'll try to uh, secure their support over dinner. We're running late. See if you can find us a faster route.
What happened? Car crash. There's glass shrapnel all over her body. Dr. Lee, we're counting on you. Well done. Dr. Lei, how did the procedure go? It went well. Both patients survived. Dr. Lei, I'll handle the report. Well done. You were able to treat the mother. And you managed to save her baby. You've done it again. You make us all look good. <sighs> What's going on over there? Looks serious. Oh. It was another car crash. The victim. She weighs over a hundred kilos. It happened at Chang'an Road. A hundred kilos? That's heavy. Chang'an Road? Yeah. A big girl got hit by a car. It happened at Chang'an Road. Dr. Liu, her heart rate is low. Also, her temperature is falling. Defibrillator. Quickly. Yes, doctor. Fatty. It's really you. You have to survive this. You hear me? You can't die. You can't. Heart rate's recovery. Prepare for transfusion. Hello. Hello. Please, sit down. Thank you. I'm speaking with Mr. Chi Yu, correct? Oh, yes. And how may I help you two gentlemen? You see, we're from the traffic police. We're investigating an accident. Our cameras caught your vehicle with the license plate 3625 driving past the scene of the accident. An accident? Mr. Xiao, don't blame yourself. This is not your fault. The truck that hit her was going in the wrong lane. Even if it isn't our fault, we should pay for the surgery. Done. Don't let her know who paid the bill. All right? Understood. Injured. Why are you still thinking about him? What happened? <sighs> Fatty. You were hit by a car. You were badly hurt and... Your face was cut by the windshield. You were... Disfigured. But your condition is stable now. Don't worry. I've invited the best doctors to restore your face. You're going to be fine. I don't want that. I don't want to spend my life getting my face fixed. Fatty, listen to me. If you don't undergo the surgery, you might not be able to return to your old life. So you need to be strong. You were able to survive a car crash. There's nothing else for you to fear. Don't worry. After the reconstructive surgery, you'll be the same as before. It's funny, Lei Ming. Right before I was hit, memories of my childhood came rushing back to me. Back in primary school, I used to be bullied for being fat. You were the only friend I had. When we started middle school, you moved away to Shanghai while I stayed behind alone. Then I went to Shanghai to study design. But when they saw how big I was, they told me that that someone my size can be a designer. But I didn't let that stop me. I told myself, I just wasn't working hard enough. I told myself to continue pushing myself to work harder and harder. That I should continue to pursue happiness every day. Every day. Is a person's appearance really that important? Is how we look really 
determine how we live our entire lives? Daddy, no matter what you look like, or what happens next, I will always be your best friend. And I will always be beside you. So don't worry. I'm here for you. The surgery is about to start. Please get ready. Don't worry. I assure you, you are in good hands. Okay. Doctor, how is she? Ah, uh, she's recovering very well. After months of work, dietary control, as well as facial reconstruction, we can finally remove the bandages. <laughs> Did you hear that? Huh? I am finally free. And after so long, I can finally see my girlfriend again. <laughs> if not for your friend here, you wouldn't have recovered so quickly. Now all we need to do is remove your bandages and we can see what you look like underneath. No. Huh? Please wait. <laughs> huh? Maybe. What is it? Take them off for me. I'm scared. Can can I do it? Sure, go ahead. <sighs> like opening a present. I'm nervous. Here we go. Is what the girl of my dreams looks like. So how do I look? Incredible. <laughs> oh, she has recovered, but she shouldn't laugh yet. Mind the chin, and remember, she should not try to make too many facial expressions. Doctor, uh, will my chin fall off my face if I smile too much? No, you'll be fine. You had an absolutely flawless operation. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, don't smile. Didn't you hear what the doctor said? <laughs> Do you want to see what you look like now? I'm scared, Hini. I'm here. Trust me. You'll be fine. Come on. Mm. Open your eyes. Well? I can't believe it. Is that really me? Of course it's you. You're looking at the one and only Fatty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fatty. Congratulations on becoming a butterfly. Happy rebirth day. You want to try it on? Mm hmm Good. Thank you for always being with me. 
Beautiful. I really am now. I meant the necklace. <laughs> hey, no laughing. This is a graph detailing our company's semi-annual report. Total sales dropped by 10% in the past six months and has kept going down continually. Mr. Xiao, since this company was founded, there's never been such a drop. If we don't take action soon, we'll have a problem. As your president, I'll take full responsibility for this. But the data can't show everything. Any true reform requires a process. I believe this decline is temporary. I agree completely. To foster innovation, we let four senior executives go. We've recruited many people, but they lack practical experience. Of course, our sales dropped to... I said reforms take time before they can bear fruit. Three months, give me three months, and I'll increase sales by 20%. 20% in three months? Mr. Xiao, you don't have to do this. If I fail to deliver on this promise, I will resign. Chiyu, the only way we can increase our sales within that time frame is to roll out a new product line and promotion plan. Tell the design department to show me next quarter's products. Right, I'll take care of it. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Xiao. Hmm? As requested, the newest series of men's rings is now ready. The inspiration for it is the chivalric order you received in Europe. The name of the line is Chivalry. Hmm. Chivalry rings, well done. We will put it out in the market at once. Let's hope that it'll help increase sales. Good work. All right. Thank you, sir. I don't want to hear this nonsense that you're telling me. Are you saying that me, Mei Li, was the only one capable of making a proposal? <gasps> if Desiro rejects even one more plan, you will all leave this company. Blaming, it's too short. What? Too short? No, it's not. Well, what about the makeup? Is it too much? Oh. It's perfect. That's how pretty people wear it. Okay? Let's really? go. Hey, sit right here. Oh. A breezer and an orange juice. One moment. Hey, did you see that? I think that guy just checked me out. Can you act a bit more sophisticated? From now on, you have to act and think like a pretty lady. Someone who doesn't jump at the first guy who looks at her. Set some standards. <laughs> Put your legs together. Seriously. <laughs> hey, Fatty, congratulations on surviving and finally becoming good looking. Here's to the start of your new life. That's right. Cheers. Here's a lesson for you. Do not go to bars looking for the love of your life because men in bars are creeps. So that makes you a creep too. Uh, um, well, I'm... Of course I'm not. I can't believe you'd compare me to these guys. I'm not like them. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. Try looking into my eyes. Come. <laughs> what do you see? Me. Wrong. It's sincerity. Wrong. It's eye gunk. Wrong. It's lies. <laughs> oh, hey, Ting Ting. I didn't see you. You said you were working overtime. Lei Yi Ming, you're just another creep. Chiu, why did the client request to meet in a club? We can't talk here. From now on, no clubs. Sir, would you like a drink? Recognize me? No way. He can't. <gasps> My face. It's different now. Hey, gorgeous. Uh, 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 are you alone? <laughs> Yes, I am. Oh. Uh, I, I, I'm alone, too. <laughs> Mind if I b b buy you a uh, drink? Uh, th th that's lame. Uh, uh, 
Oh. T -t 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 Try m my drink. It's b better. Thanks, but I don't. Drink. All right, I'll t -t teach you. I really don't drink. This one's good, and it's n n not that strong. Excuse me. <laughs> Hang on. It it's still early. Just just try. Uh, I, I need to go now. W what are you saying, huh? Uh, are you m m making f fun of my s s stammer? C uh, come here and sit down. I I'll give you t two options. You have to pick w one of them. The first one is y you have to drink this whole b bottle I in front of me. Two is I, I pour it down your th throat. S so y you better make your choice. Uh, 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 I, y you, I don't want to drink. Then I guess I'll have to force you because no. you're not leaving till you finish. <laughs> Just shut up. Thank <laughs> you. 